So it turns out it was just that I needed to calibrate the main voltage output. How do you like that? Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. A couple videos ago, I was saying, I was asking for your help because the Toolkit RC M60 charger was giving me a uh, balance uh, port voltage match error and I couldn't figure out what it was. Lucy from Toolkit RC saw that video and got back to me and confirmed what a lot of you had said in the comments, which was that I needed to calibrate the main output voltage where the X6, XT60s are in addition to the the voltage at each uh, cell for the balance lead. So in case you're getting the same error message that I did for the M6D or other Toolkit RC charger, I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. First, I'm going to press and hold the scroll button and plug in uh, the input power. And in this case, I'm using a 12 volt power supply, but it would be pretty much the same if you were using a battery. Zoom in. So you see we have all of these uh, different voltages, input, output, charge, uh, current and then one two three four five six and those are the cells those are the numbered cells and then the output current or output voltage is what comes out at the XT 60s now we need to get a battery and calibrate that voltage so we'll take our battery here this is a six cell battery and we're going to plug in the XT 60 you see here it says output voltage is 25.372 volts. Now what we need to do is make sure that this number, if I scroll over to it, this number highlighted in purple actually matches what the battery voltage is right now. So we need to get a multimeter. What we'll do is measure the voltage across the uh, balance port or balance uh, lead. 24.9 is about what it should be. 24.8, 24.9. So what we need to do is make this number match that. So we need to select it and then scroll, to, let's see, scroll to the right actually to make it go down because we need to take it from like 25.4 to 20, uh, 24.8. Now I'll put it like on the low end of 24.9 and that should be good. And then, um, then we can press it again and that will uh, deselect it and then we can also calibrate the voltage for each cell as well. So I'll show you the process to calibrate for one cell and the process is the same for all of them. So what we could do is just get our multimeter, touch the pins on cell one. That's going to be the two pins furthest from the red pin and if we can get a good contact on those it's showing 4.15 so 4.15, that's about right. Yeah, so that's about right. So you would just do that for all of the cells. And if you needed to change it, you would just select it and then change it as needed. Um, it's it's like very detailed. It goes down to a thousandth of a volt, which honestly, I don't really know that that's going to make much of a difference. But anyway, that's how that works. And then we just go over to uh, save we click save and then we can uh, disconnect everything and unplug. Plug it back in just like normal. And now we can actually plug in our XT60, plug in our balance lead, and we usually wanna do it in that order. We can select that channel, and then we can start charging. There we go. So now we're able to balance charge, and you always, always, always want to balance charge. Um, your, your battery could catch on fire and bad stuff could happen if you just try to charge from the main XT60 lead. So there we go. It's relatively simple once you kind of like get it figured out, but to be honest, it was uh, kind of complicated at first and I didn't quite understand the whole process or why it had to happen. And I'm not thrilled that I had to do it at all, really. This should have come uh, ready to go from the factory. So I'm not very happy about that, but I am glad that we got it resolved. And thank you all for commenting and um, helping me solve this problem. And hopefully if you've had this problem, this was the solution for you. Thanks for watching everybody. And I will see you again very soon. We'll get, I mean, we get bars.